Hey everybody, welcome to Love Always Adventure Often. Today we're talking about what I consider to be the riskiest part of schoolie life. That is insurance. Here we go. Hey there friends, we're the Browns. Chad, Katie, Addison, Kenya, and Milo. We live for love and adventure. In November of 2017, we sold our house and most our possessions in pursuit of simplicity and freedom. Two months later, we bought a 2001 Bluebird school bus to make our home. After building out the bus for six months, we've been on the open road full time. Our family motto is love always, adventure often. We're stoked for you to join our journey and hope you enjoy watching our videos as much as we love making them. So hit subscribe and enjoy the adventure. All right, my friends, one of the most common questions we get about schooly life is about insurance. How much do we pay for it? What kind of policy is it? Uh, is it full coverage? Is it liability? Does it, does it include the improvements that we've put into the bus? All of that kind of stuff. I'm gonna talk about where we get it, how much it costs us, and what type of policy that we have, and what I believe to be the riskiest part of schooly life. Let me just say right off the bat, I am not an insurance professional. I don't pretend to understand insurance, specifically auto insurance. I can tell you what our experience has been with insurance, and it's been pretty vast. Uh, I was really, really worried in the beginning that we were not going to get the type of insurance that I would feel safe with uh, to take this schoolie out onto the road. So a little bit of quick history. We found insurance, or we thought we found insurance, through an agent, and they set us up with Progressive. And right from the beginning, Progressive accepted us. Uh, they insured the they insured the school bus, and and it was just liability, and it covered anybody that we hit, whether it's damage or bodily injury. So we got that policy. I wasn't happy about the coverage, but at least we got covered. Our agent had sent it out to a few different companies, and Progressive was the only one that said yes. We were excited to have the coverage. However, our look was not over, our, our hunt was not over, because we wanted to find insurance that covered the improvements of the bus and our bodily injury inside the bus. So if anything, heaven forbid, were to happen and we were to get into an accident. So Progressive took us, within two weeks, we got a notification from Progressive telling us they were dropping us. And this, I'm seeing this story all over the place, especially with Progressive. So here's what I think is happening. And if there's any insurance experts out there, you can comment in the, in the comments below and correct me. I would be more than happy to be corrected. But basically what I think is happening is that Progressive is accepting any policies. Um, you can get any type of policy really on any vehicle with Progressive. They'll accept it, they'll take your initial premium payment, and then, they'll underwrite the policy, meaning they'll actually look at the details of the vehicle, the drivers, all of that kind of stuff, and then make their decision on whether or not they want to cover the vehicle. And with schoolies, I think they're accepting them at first as RV policies, which was what ours was. Um, and then once that goes through the underwriting, they're denying them and they're dropping them. So we basically were given 10 business days to find a new policy to cover our bus. So I'm putting this out there as a warning. I see a lot of people saying, yeah, I got mine with Progressive, um, and then immediately getting dropped after that. Now here's a quick word of warning. I've seen a lot of people say that they have Progressive insurance and Progressive didn't drop them. Now here's the thing, I, I worry for them, and this is just my opinion, I have nothing to back this up with. But my concern is, is that Progressive doesn't actually, or this, you know, whatever insurance company, doesn't actually know what vehicle they have. So, if they don't know that it's a converted bus, they think it's a, just a school bus or something like that. If there were to be, heaven forbid, if there were to be a accident and somebody was hurt, or uh, you know, the property was was damaged or that kind of stuff. They still have an option to not cover it if they were under false idea of what the vehicle actually was. So if they find out that it was a converted school bus and they don't cover converted school buses, they can then choose not to cover the claim. This is a big deal. You could be out a lot of money, especially if you've injured somebody else and there's tort and you know they sue you, that kind of stuff. 
This is a really, really big deal. The insurance company needs to know what vehicle you have. So continuing with our insurance saga. So Progressive dropped us, they let us know, they gave us 10 days to find a different policy and we started looking all over the place. We, found, we then found two more companies that would accept our bus. And I wanted to make sure they knew exactly what it was and I wanted to know what kind of coverage it was. So the first one was National General. They accepted us right away and uh, we actually purchased the policy because we hadn't found the other one yet. Um, so we, we purchased a policy from National General, but then again, I asked them very explicitly, does this cover the improvements in the bus? Because yes, I bought the bus and it probably has a value of $3,500, but then I turned around and I put almost $17,000 more into the bus. So is it gonna cover that as well? And of course it's not gonna cover my labor. <laughs> so there's a, lot to, there's a lot of things to consider. So I asked them these questions very explicitly. I, I made sure I sent them pictures and made sure they knew that it was a converted school bus. So they, they continued to cover us even after knowing it was a converted school bus, but they told me it did not cover any of the improvements. So any of the cash and money that I put into the bus to convert it into a home was not covered. So literally we had a policy for a bus at like $4,500. This did not make sense to me. It didn't make sense for me to build out this home, take it on the road, have an accident, and then be out all of that money. That is a huge risk in my mind. I don't wanna risk that much money, especially to other drivers um, and to roads and to my <laughs> uh, lack of capabilities to drive something of this size, possibly. Um, so we kept looking. Uh, the next place we went was State Farm. And the same thing, um, we let them know all the details about the bus, that it was converted, and what was in it, what we, what we bought the bus for, but what, also the cash that we put into the bus. And um, they wanted a full report on the bus. So they wanted pictures, they, wanted, they had us put together an itemized list of all the things that we had put into the bus, all of that kind of stuff. And then before they wrote the policy, we sent all of that in through our agent for underwriting to see if they were actually going to cover us. It was in underwriting for almost two weeks and they came back with full coverage of the bus and its approve improvements. And I double checked on this, I triple checked on this through our agent, so I hope they know what they're talking about, but they know every detail about our bus and they are covering it completely. This is exactly what I was looking for. Now the premium is a bit more expensive than anybody else I've heard of. I should mention here as well that our title is not converted to an RV, it's still a school bus. I was told that our premium could go down if the title was converted to an RV. So, uh, that being said, our premium right now is about $180, but I'm happy to pay that knowing that we're safe and that we have full coverage. So as you consider getting insurance for your schoolie, here's what I would suggest. A, work with a local agent that that is wanting to fight for you, to get you a good policy that's going to put you in a, in a safer financial position. Um, second, make sure what whoever covers you knows all the details about your vehicle. The end goal is not just to get insurance so that when a police officer pulls you over or whatever, you can show them an insurance card or you know the state knows that you have insurance. That's not the end goal. The end goal to ha of having insurance is to make sure that you're financially protected if anything bad were to happen. And I think we mix those up too much. I think a lot of times, in the schoolie world, as far as I can tell, and in posts and conversations with people, their end goal is just to get a policy. I just gotta get a policy without making sure that it's going to protect them and not put them at giant amounts of risk barreling down the freeway in this school bus. So um, make sure that the insurance company knows exactly what they're covering. Make sure you ask if there were to be a claim, even a total loss claim, what would they cover? And what would be your deductible? What are your premiums? Having all of this information, you can make a much smarter decision 
as pertaining to insurance and driving your bus around the country. So anyway, like I said, this is all our experience. I'm again, not an insurance professional, but we did go through the ringer in trying to get insurance for our bus. I see a lot of people out there online freaking out when they've built out their bus and they finally realize that nobody wants to <laughs> insure them. Um, but get a lot of quotes, talk to a lot of different insurance agencies. And if you have an agent that's just not getting it done for you, find a new one. Anyway, my friends, I hope this has been helpful as you think about insuring your home. Be careful, protect yourself, and remember, love always and adventure often. Wow, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoy seeing our videos as much as we love making them. Don't miss a single adventure or bus moment. Make sure you hit subscribe and share with everyone you know. We'll see you next week and remember to love always and adventure often.